Welcome to another reflection on looking at your life now as compared to what you thought it would be. You know, earlier I spoke about uh, how we think the plans we make when we are younger, uh, we have all these grandiose ideas and we think, you know, this is how my life is going to be planned out five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And we find out that life doesn't always turn out like we want it to. And so now I want to talk about what does it mean when we feel like we missed a boat. We look around, we see all the people that seemingly are being blessed by God. They seem to, to know the right things to say. They seem to, to have the right opportunities and things like that. And we look around and we're like, you know what? This is not how I expected my life to be right now. And many of us can say that. I know I can say that for myself. This is not how I expected my life to be at this age. But I also realized that it's part of a journey. It's part of a process. And I have to trust that God is going to uh, carry me through this process. My life is not what it used to be, but it's a lot better now than it was. And I know that as long as God is with me and I continue to rely on God to make those right choices, then it will be a lot better in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years, however long, how much longer God blesses me to, to be alive. So when you look at things and you look at your friends, what can you do to remind yourself that you really haven't missed the boat? Then maybe your greatness is being delayed right now. Your destiny is still there. Where you are right now might not be where God intends for you to end up. And if it is, look around and find the blessing. So I want to share four things with you that you can do if you find yourself feeling like you missed the boat. One is prayer. Be honest in your prayers. I can't tell you how many times I've said to God, you know, God, I don't like where I am right now, or I'm mad about this, or I'm mad about that, and I yell at God. God is bigger than my yelling. God is bigger than your yelling, your anger, my anger, all those things. But be honest when you pray about how you feel. God already knows it. God already knows how you feel. Just verbalize it and get it out of your system. The other thing is that stop watching social media. I know it's easier said than done, but I can say that there are times which I have to take a break from social media because I look at what my friends are going through and I think, man, I wish that was me. And the reality is that there may be people looking at my social media thinking, I wish that was me. And so we always have to put things in perspective, which is a, which is a third thing you can do is change your perspective. Realize where you are right now is where you are supposed to be and look around at the blessings that you have. Be thankful for the things that you have. And the fourth thing is practice gratitude. Every morning I get up, I get my journal out, and I write down three things I'm grateful for from the day before. Not coming into the day, but what it does is it causes me to stop and reflect back on the blessings from the day before. Even if it's just a, I had a good work day, because not every day is good. The air conditioning work, because sometimes it might not work. Or I had a quiet evening at home alone because sometimes it's not always quiet. So those are the things that you can do. You know, be honest in your prayers. Stop watching so much social media. Practice gratitude and change your perspective. I want to leave you with uh, a scripture. First Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verse 18. It says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So give thanks in everything because you just never know your life may be what is helping somebody else along their journey you just never know who you may be blessing in the midst of the living the life that you are currently living take care god bless